Hi everybody, it's Scott Cranmore from 67 Music and Steve and I are at the Dublin Pub tonight in Portland, Oregon and there's a lot going on because Sons of Malarkey are playing tonight. But we got a special treat because uh, setting in with uh, the Sons tonight uh, from 13B in Nashville, Tennessee is Marnie McCaig and she is talking with us right now a little bit about uh, how she got involved with Sons of Malarkey and what brings her to Portland and a little bit about the band 13B. Marnie, very nice to see you. How are you? Good, thanks for having so, is it safe to say that, that 13B originated Teltronica? Yes. Yes, that is my word. I made it up. I'm going to put it on a website. Put, I have to have somebody put it on a wiki page to get full credit for it, but yes, it's all me. So, what, uh, what made you, in the, the capital of country music, what made you put Celtic music and electronica together? It seems like a, an odd combination there, doesn't it? It does, but let me tell you why. Um, I started out as an Irish dancer, and I really didn't like the practice music that they had, so I, my first record, I made practice music for Irish dancers, and it just kind of grew from there. So I used a lot of drum loops, a lot of guitars, some, um, a lot of background stuff that made the music more interesting. It was a more solid beat. Uh, it was more interesting to listen to and to dance to. It made each practice feel like a performance instead of trudging through another rehearsal. Oh, great. So so it actually originated from helping Irish dancers. Yes. That's fantastic. And I got to know, the, the album is fantastic. And Thank I, you. myself, I own it. I think Steve does. And I know that everybody in Sons of Mahalo owns <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. It's a really, really good album. Thank so you. is, is 13 B going to be continuing? Yes, 13 B is going on. Um, it's been a little bit slow. Just, you know, life gets in the way sometimes. Yep. So And we're independent, so we have day jobs. <laughs> So yes. uh, is, uh, is it going to continue all along the same lines of uh, Caltronica? Or? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to go more in the direction of vocals instead of instrumentals. So I'll be singing more on the next record than I did this last one. Album, like I was just saying, I told the guys in Sons of Malarkey about it. Uh, I I'm, I'm don't know if that's what actually got you guys connected. I'm, I'm wondering how, what brought you to Portland and how did you get involved with the Sons? I think I can thank you actually because yeah. they said they heard about me from somebody, but I have no idea who that person was. So I think it might have been you. Oh, right. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> yes, they um, they heard about me from they said a promoter, and I'm guessing that person is you. And they approached me about singing on their new EP that's coming out next month or the month after. And um, I jumped at the chance to get to work with them. I've, I bumped into them on another independent music site, so I'm familiar with their stuff. And then just the chance to work with them and play with them has been fantastic. Yeah. It's a wonderful group of people, talented, all of them. Because you're in Caltronica, that doesn't mean like you, you actually are a very uh, accomplished traditional musician as well. Thank you. Yes, that's where that's where I started. Mm -hmm. I started. I actually have. Um, I actually started out being classically trained for flute and piccolo. It's showed on stage. It really added to the music. Thank you. So uh, people that are watching this right now, um, they know about Sons of Malarkey. They know about 13B. But if they want to find out more about what's going on, not only with Marnie but with uh, the future 13B, where can they go online? Uh, I'm on Facebook. I am on um, a website called uh, the IndieMusicChannel.com. Um, I'm also I have a website of my own. It's TheReal13B.com. TheReal13B.com. Yes. And just real quick, uh, I'm, I'm sure you've answered this question a lot, but where does 13B come from? Well, 13 is my favorite number, and if you put the one and the three together, you get a B. That's cool. Yeah. Wow. It's I, pretty I, simple. No magic there. Just <laughs> I liked it. I was wondering if it was like maybe like a something from a movie or maybe it was like a hotel room you stayed in one night or something like that. Nope. 13 has been a lucky number for me. It keeps popping up in weird places and it just seems to be lucky for me. So. Well, we're looking forward to uh, what's going to happen uh, in the future with 13B. We really appreciate you hanging out with us. Thanks very much. We're going to go back in and we're going to catch your next set with Sons of Malarkey. And uh, if you want to find out more, the website is therealthirteenb.com. Marty, thank you very much. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Pleasure.